Hello folks, my name is David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast. I'm joining you today from Ibrox after a desperately disappointing afternoon as Rangers lost at home to Motherwell by two goals to one. Things have been going pretty well lately, but today nothing went right for Rangers. Uh, no area of the team functioned. The defence was a bomb scare with Connor Goldson and John Souter having absolute nightmares. The midfield didn't function. Nico Raskin anonymous and taken off at half time. And up front, we couldn't take the chances that we did create. It, it really was, as I say, one of those days. Rangers didn't start the game well. And... It was pretty sluggish, and then we conceded a goal. It's another horror moment. Ridvan and Suter um, both could do better, but Suter in particular runs out, doesn't get the ball. He's left, and uh, Theo Bear, who ragdolled our defence all day, uh, gets forward, and he gets the, the finish, and boom, what a goal down. And, you know, the crowd didn't panic at that point, but Rangers were sluggish, the passing wasn't working, as I say, the midfield didn't have a grip of the game. Ross McCausland had to go off injured uh, after a shocker of a tackle that referee Alan Muir, who had a nightmare of a day, he was dreadful, uh, he failed to even call as a foul. Um, I haven't seen it back, you guys will know if you've seen it, uh, whether or not it was a red card, the manager certainly felt that he's seen us receive red cards for that and uh, of course it's compounded by the guy who did it goes on to score the winner um, even so though Rangers made change at half time Tom Lawrence came on and again Alan Muir misses an obvious penalty for a foul on Fabio Silva VAR gives it and Tav sticks it away and at that you're expecting Rangers to go on and win it but we didn't have the intensity I felt that you might have expected after getting a goal back and uh, we got punished again more slack defending and even Super Jack might have done a bit better with it, I'd need to see it back again. Rangers created loads of chances towards the end and injury time and we had them off the bar and the keeper was making saves and you just knew it was going to be one of those days. So where does that leave as well? Um, the title, you know, um, is still very much up for grabs. We all knew and we've been saying at one point we will suffer a bump in the road. I didn't think it would be today, I don't think many of us did. But it's how we react to that that matters. Still plenty to play for, it's still in our hands. There'll be the thing about Bottle um, that's put forward, and that's fair enough, but it took Bottle to, to win on Wednesday night. It took Bottle to put that performance in against Hearts. If anything, I think we were guilty today of a wee bit of a complacency. After those two big results, and maybe with Benfica coming up, I think we maybe took our eye off the ball a wee bit today and thought it would take care of itself, and it didn't. And it's a day where the whole team have collectively had a nightmare. They've all played under their level. Um, you have to defend better than that. And I think the manager in the summer is going to need to invest in centre-backs because I'm not sure any of the four at the club are the answer. That's as bad as I've ever seen Conor Goldson. He was dreadful today. Um, and Suter has this unfortunate habit of making mistakes that lead to goals. But, yeah, um, as I say, you can't just go on them, the midfield non existent Nico Raskin gave absolutely nothing today and then up front we weren't clinical at all and that's been something that, that has hurt us, injuries are biting there's no doubt about that but even so, that's not an excuse, you should be beating Motherwell at home regardless and it's incredibly disappointing that we didn't so off we go now to, to Lisbon, it's two weeks before we get back to league business, this is a sore one it's how they react to it. If they react well to it, everything's still on. If they don't react well to it, well, then it won't be. But uh, I away home to lick my wounds tonight. Thanks for listening. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.